What's good, YouTube? Asian Persuasion here, here with Slim2. We're here with the top 32 duelists here at YCS Seattle. What's your name and what you play, buddy? Uh, my name is Chan C, and I played Zodiac. The best yeah! Guy. And I right. see that Minerva shirt, too. Yeah. Dang Dio. Shout out to Team Dang Dio. Yeah, they let me the whole deck, so oh, for sure. so much. There's no way I could have gotten the cards. Yeah, yeah for sure, man. Let's right. get into that. Let's see what you play. Right. Um, really standard. I played like the Pier 1, so it's really this guy. He's amazing. Uh, you definitely want to do that turn one and get the emerald play. Three of that guy. Uh, I played three because I feel like he's really good. You can cycle cards. Um, and the 1600 or 17 with tanky is really relevant in the mirror match. You just keep beating down. Mm -hmm. And then three of this guy, obviously, you can OTK. And then I also played one of the Ram Ram because wow. I like his name. So <laughs> <Ram -Ram> can, <laughs> did, it, did it work out good for you? Yeah, all? it works out okay. Yeah. I actually didn't play the speed cool? roids, which uh, turned out to be a mistake. But at the time, I was like, oh, there's too much room. They take two extra decks plots and then four decks in the main slot. So I was like, oh, I'll just play like more traps and Ram Ram. I put Ram Ram in because I never drew monsters, yeah. which was because I didn't play speed roids, obviously. I should have played them, but Totem Bird's also really good. And this guy is, when he's destroyed by Battle of Card Effect, you can special summon another Zodiac from a grave. Mm -hmm. So like you can summon this, activate Barrage and target him to destroy. You get something from deck and something from grave. Ooh, and he has 2,000. That's, spicy. that's pretty cool. And yeah, he also negates traps. So like if you overlay him, he uh, the monster's like unaffected by traps at target. So I did that in my future match in top 32, which is kind of cool. Oh, that's awesome. And then there's also a way to play around board clears. If you make like a board like the Dagusto Emerald play and you draw Barrage, you can Barrage and then special summon this. So if they Kaiju Slumber, everything dies, and then with this, you special back the Drowncia, the Dryden that died, and then you can equip Viper and Bissom up. So it kind of plays around like, you know, board clears in a sense. And yeah, that's all the monsters. Okay. Oh, right, actually. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Should, should be banned. Standard. Standard. Way too good. Standard, should be banned, yeah. I think. Yeah. And then two of these guys, just because uh, it's good, like, one for one. It hits Barrage, Rat. You want to do it on the normal summon because uh, there's just a chance that they don't have Barrage or Rance Infusion. Like, if you do it any other time, they're going to special summon a Rat first. Like, and then that means they're going to have Dryden. So, yeah. I was doing it on the normal summon. And also, like, it's, uh, yeah, it works against a lot of stuff. So, Metaphos. Yeah. yeah. Metaphos. And then, yeah, that's all the monsters. Okay. And spell cards, three of this, obviously. You have to play three. It's really good. The 100 boost is really relevant. Because, uh, like, under barrier, you're just grinding, right? So you attack over all your opponent's monsters. And also, like, when you are under barrier, your XYZs are 100. So, like, you can still attack over, like, defense mode XYZs or, like, rats or whatever. Yeah. So sometimes you don't even blow this up with barrage. You blow up barrage just so you have this to play around barrier, which is kind of cool. And then three of this. Best Insane card, card obviously. Yeah. Um, there's actually a play that you can play around max C with this and rat, but no one knows about it. I can maybe show after. Right, yeah, and sure. then uh, two of this card, it's really broken, but it's also really risky because if you run into a max C, you basically lose. Yeah, you gotta go off into it or stop. Yeah, it. totally. But it's still broken yeah. because you can broad bolt twice. You XYZ it with Norden normally once, and then you can put something on top of that and then put another broad bolt on top, yeah. the traditional way. And then. Uh, board clears, two dark holes, and Ragekis. I didn't play Kaijus because I didn't want to draw them, and I feel like these cards are just clean. You don't have to play like bad Kaiju cards that you might draw. You can yeah. just like, you know, Ragekis somebody or Dark Hole somebody, and they're good against Infernoids. And then two of this card, my body's shield. Oh, yeah. I actually Ooh, found this sexy card. DTs. I know, right? I found this card in my mom's basement. <laughs> Broken. Sick to us right Like a month ago when no one was talking about it, I was like, wow, this card might be good. So I started playing it, and then like half a month later, everyone's talking about it, so yeah. I don't know. I was playing three, but it's dead sometimes. It yeah. stops Ghost Ogre, it stops uh, Dryden, and it destroys Dryden, which is super good. It is awesome. Yeah, and you can also my body another my body if it's on your monster, which oh, is Oh, really yeah. That's cool. true. And Book of Moon, it's just generic. It's a trap, or like you stop Dryden, so. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. And then that's all the spells. I played 40, so traps, three of the most broken trap. Yeah, that card's so good. Yeah, this card's really good. There's a way, like, a lot of people don't know that. Uh, like the best way is probably to wait until they make an XYZ and then use it so they burn the XYZ burn and resources. Yeah. 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 But there's also a way, if you suspect they have D barrier and they don't use it on your own monster, you can play around it by just putting Dryden right on top. Yeah, and then so there's like, kind of like that mind game, you know, like are you gonna are you gonna overlay Dryden, Dryden right away or are you gonna wait, right? So if you think they have barrier and they're waiting, then you might do Dryden if you have like another play. And then three strike. Uh, Barrier is way better, obviously, because it's a whole turn, but it's still one for one and it's good. Yeah. And then during your turn, you might negate the hand traps if you have to, so. They only have like three plays. They have like normal summon, the barrage, and the instant fusion. Like yeah. standard two. Yeah. Exactly. So like strike is like one of them, right? And then two of this card is okay. Uh, the consensus, like, we thought that people were playing like Vanity's Fiend and stuff. 
And also, like this, it's good in grind because it, essentially it's a two for one. You negate like the broad bow or the, uh, the, the tiger mortar, and then next turn the drancy is just dead, right? Yeah. And it's also okay against Inferno. You hit like snow or something. As long as they don't have an Inferno that can chain and trigger snow. Yeah. So it's a, it's all right. And then uh, this card, the most broken trap yeah. besides barrier, because you wait until they mount a huge board and you flip this. There's no way for them to play around it. I guess my body kind of makes it worse, but it's still too good. And I played one of this, it was okay, but I was actually surprised. Like, everyone was playing around Mirror Force. So they event. weren't attacking yeah. too much. Yeah, no one was attacking or putting in defense or whatever. So it was okay, but I don't I don't think it's that great. It's just good when like most people attack first, just in case you have barriers, so you yeah. get 1600, so you can flip it. Uh, Compulse, just another one for one kind of thing. And also like Kaiju, you bounce your own Kaiju back or something. Just like a all around good card. And for like random decks, you know, like uh, the crystal wing, indestructible yeah, yeah, artifact yeah. thingy. Yeah, yeah. I do not want to use that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this card is really that good. That card is insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. that you should always prioritize getting this to grave if you're playing the mirror match because it's so grindy. So even if you have Thoroughblade and Marmorat, you send want to summon Marmorat and send this. Yeah. As long as you have like defensive traps. Definitely. And yeah, that's 40 cards, main okay, deck. Cool. Side next tree, you choose. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's do. I like them tokens. I know, right? Extra deck. <laughs> I know, I love them. Yeah. Uh, extra deck, I guess. The extra deck is three of the, one of the best ones. I guess they're all the best ones, but yeah, I played three because of the fact that in confusion you can make one, overlay something, and make another one, it's a yeah. double search. And also like, playing more just means I win the grind game, which is cool. Mm -hmm. And then two of this guy, he attacks directly, but no one knows about it. <laughs> yeah. And then two of this one, which is great. And then two this one. I wanted to play three, but I cut one for like Roach or something. Cause yeah. this guy's just great. You, you know, playing around barriers, you just make him right away. And that's all the normal Zodiac ones. And then I played two of this one. It's broken. Yeah. Really good. The, if you have this in barrier, like, and they don't have board player, they can't get over the 1800, which yeah. is super relevant. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, he's great. And also he is a mirror match just for cycling stuff. And then uh, this guy OTK. 3,800, one rat's 5,000, because 38 plus a Viper you search, so that's 5,000. Yeah. And then I also played this guy. Oh you know, my yeah. god, 3, rat attack. king baby. If you have rat and Insufusion, that's an OTK, because this is 5,000 with the Viper, and this is a 3,000. Oh Boom. my god, um, that's crazy. I later realized that if you have Tiger King, you can set Tanky and it's and search another Viper, so it's still like 30 something, 3,000 something, but that means that you'd have to not have used Tanky that turn, so yeah. I was like, whatever. That's awesome. I haven't seen that since Kree 4 I know, Tower, baby. Right? <laughs> and also, like, against Metaphors, you beat over both flames, so you don't have to waste a Dryden on that. Yeah. And then uh, this guy, I only played one for Noid. I didn't have to see that, unfortunately. The one only Asian <laughs> I saw, yeah, yep. I saw the an Iron Wall, so that's all I yeah. needed to see. That's all she wrote, yep. And then <laughs> the, this guy, because it's a Yeah. And then my side deck is... Three of this card, because you always want to see it. It's insane, puts this huge body on board, has man, the OTK. Searches, man. And searches. <laughs> Too many. Yeah, what can I say? And then I play four of these guys. They're not great to draw, but sometimes, you know, you draw two, at least you can beat them down. If you have barrier, just beat down. Yeah. And you, pull, you play the 3000s, because that's OTK with the 5000 off rat. Yeah. And then three of this card. The card's so good. I know, I hate it for a I only played one, thankfully. I'm so scared of that deck. But I also said this thing going second, because if you can clear the board with like a slumber yeah, or something. Then they just yeah, you just flip this, and it's. Yeah. They don't see 20 plus 60 cards. No I way. tried to draw it. <laughs> <laughs> I drew one with that roll. <laughs> Three of this for uh, Metaphos and Infernoid because they're kind of spell reliant. So if you go first side this, they yeah. can't use like their lawn milling thingy. Yeah, they gotta wait for a whole trainer. Turn. Yeah, and the fusion mm -hmm. spell. And then two twin wizards just for random stuff like Paleozoic and whatnot. Yeah. So sweet, and, man. Now, uh, cool. any shout outs you want to give, man? Uh, yeah, I want to give a huge shout out to Marcus from Dank Deals for lending me like everything in the deck. There's no way I could have gotten it. Huge shout out to Hector for organizing the team of Dank Deals. Uh, shout out to my friend Darren for driving us up here and Yuki for training and also um, a shout out to my friend Ed for training awesome. with me. So, awesome. Yeah, thank you. Hi man, well congratulations and thank you for the deck profile. Thank you guys so much.